Hey guys, it's Steve from the Tech Buzz and the Retro Buzz, and today I want to talk to you about a piece of firmware that is dropping or has dropped. Maybe you have it right now. If you're like me and you've been kind of checking out all these great firmwares that Act Games has put out, you're going to want to pay attention to this. You've seen guys like myself, Mr. Doug from Cool Toy, you've seen Glenn Planamento of Glenn's Retro Show. P-Dubs at P-Dubs Arcade Loft. You've seen us all stream from our Legends Ultimate and you're like, man, I just don't have the gear. I just don't have the ability, the tech know-how to do what these guys are doing and I would love to stream my gameplay. Well, guess what? I wasn't supposed to say anything, but you can now do that on the Legends Ultimate. That's right. You've heard that right from the horse's mouth. At Games has given you that ability to go to YouTube and Twitch. That's phase one of their streaming. So that tells me there's going to be more opportunities to go to many more different destinations. Also, this is really key when you want to stream your video games or maybe you want to stream um, you know, your, your tournaments that you're doing for At Games because At Games is bringing out more and more you know, tournaments. But this is going to work not only for the built-in games and, but also the add-on games. And both Bluetooth and OTG USB modes also have been approved in this firmware. There's a lot of other fixes and cool things. So let's take you now to the update of the machine. Let's get this updated so we can check this out. What do you think? Okay guys, well, it looks like it updated. Let's go to the settings and you can see we're at 4.12.082. Now I am on the beta, so yours is probably gonna say 4.12. So now we know that we have that, let's go to another page. Let's hit C, go to the next page. Now you'll see we have a live streaming icon and I'm gonna cut to this shot here. So I'm gonna click live streaming and you guys can see right here that you have an option to go to Twitch or to YouTube. So for this demonstration, I have both of them set up, but I am only going to go to I'm only going to go to Twitch because I don't want everybody coming over and you're not supposed to know about this yet. So by the time you're watching this video, you'll know about it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you right now to show you how to set this up because you can't do anything until you set it up. So I'm going to take you to that right now. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to atgames.net slash arcade net. Sign in at the top. You can see I'm signed in. And if you go under the settings tab and you scroll all the way down here, you'll see that you have a live streaming option now and the live streaming settings for YouTube and Twitch. That's currently what's enabled right now. So you can click on live settings. Um, when you click on that, you're going to be presented with a stream key and server URL. Now, what those are, are basically information that help you get connected with YouTube. So you don't want to share your stream key, so I'm not going to share that with you, but I'm going to pull up YouTube if, if, so you guys can see. This is the YouTube, kind of like the old YouTube studio, but I like this a lot more. So this is normally when you're broadcasting, it would say like your stream is live, and you'd have the chat over here on the right hand side. But if you scroll down a bit and you keep scrolling, it says encoder setup. Now, this down here is what you wanna pay attention to. This encoder setup is where you're gonna get that information. So you wanna copy the server URL and you are going to paste it 
under the live setting area here under server URLs. You can see I have that there already. The next thing that you're going to do is going to grab this stream key, but before you do that, you want to click reveal. For this video, I'm not going to click reveal because that's something that you want to keep private so that people can't stream to your channel without you knowing it. So once you copied that after you've you know, revealed it, come back over here, paste that stream key right here, then click update. That's it. That's all you have to do. The same thing with Twitch. Twitch is stream key. I'm going to show you when you go under your channel in Twitch under the stream key and preferences. This is going to be under your channel options where your permission is and all your profile accent colors and things like that. You want to copy your, your stream key and um, the only reason I'm showing you this stream key is because I reset it every time so it won't work for anybody that watches this. But you want to grab that stream key and what you're going to do is you're going to paste it inside of your Twitch settings right here. And the next thing, normally, like with the YouTube and some of the other destinations, you usually grab a server URL. Well, at Games, what they've done is they've tied into the API to where when you click this down arrow, you're going to be granted with a whole mess of different servers that you can connect to. So my closest one is in Virginia because I'm in Eastern Ohio. But go through the list. You might be closer to Miami, Chicago, or New York. Actually, uh, New York is closer for me, so I could click update. So once I do that, now it's going to use that server. Now, sometimes servers are congested and you may not be able to connect. That does happen. So we, you want to make sure that you're vigilant in trying different servers that are the closest to you. The other thing that you want to do is you want to test your speed. So as you can see, if you go to speedtest.net, you want to click this go button. You don't even have to configure anything. Just, just run the speed test. So for those that are not familiar with streaming, you're going to sit there and you're going to go, wow, Steve, you got almost 500 megs down or 400 megs down, depending on what it's going to be when it's all said and done. Roughly, I have like usually 400 to 450 down. Um, I am doing a bunch of other stuff, so we're sitting at 350, which is still more than enough. My upload anywhere from 20 to 30. Now I am streaming reruns right now that are running on my Wirecast Gearbox. So again, this is going to be a little lower. But I want you to pay attention to this because your upload speed is what you need to pay attention to. So my upload speed is 22.09. Now, the maximum upload is 22.09. So half of that would be 11. 11 and 11 is 22. The maximum you should ever stream is 11 megs. So if you get an option for 720p at 4 meg, um, you're, you know you're good. If you have 12, uh, 1080p, which is um, what the cabinet can do, you want to, and it says 4 meg, you know at least you're good because you never want to go over that 11. Um, maybe you're bringing in a Skype caller or uh, a Zoom caller. That's where that's going to come in handy. So make sure that you do a speed test prior. The other thing you want to pay attention to is this ping time. This ping, you can see it minus at 12 milliseconds. That's really good. If you get up there in the hundreds or two hundreds, you know, you're going to have some latency. That's that's to be expected. You're going to have some some of that. So I wanted to make sure you understood how to set this up and how to uh, go forward with that. So let's take you back to the machine. OK, now that you've got that set up, you're on the screen for, for live streaming. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the A button to start live streaming. And then I'm going to pull up my browser, which I'm capturing, so you can see what Twitch looks like. So I'm going to hit A, the stream. Let's see what happens. OK, and then hit Go. So I'm going to hit A again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up Twitch now you guys are seeing the my Twitch page. So in a moment here, you should see that Twitch is going to start streaming. There it is. Now you're seeing my actual desktop. I'm going to hit B. I'm going to go out because I'm going to leave this video part on so you can actually see the quality of what the stream is going to look like. So let's go into this uh, 64th Street here. Um, I'm only going to play a few seconds of it, but I want you to kind of see the screen capture of what it's going to look like on on Twitch. So uh, let me see, do I have the volume turned down? Yeah, I do. So I'll turn the volume up a little bit. And 
let's see what happens here. Let's hit start, start. I'm just gonna pick this guy. So let's go through and let's see how this is gonna look. Let's see how it looks on Twitch. So this simple, I know a lot of you guys see us stream like this and we're using different pieces of software and hardware and things like that. And now you can do it right from your Legends Ultimate Arcade, the total connected, internet connected arcade system. So let's exit out here and let's go back to what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the uh, split screen here that I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the live stream. So let's come over here, come into live streaming. And what we're going to do is we're going to click stop. Stop recording of my screen. Yes, we want to stop it. And there you have it. So now when I go back to my browser, you can see Twitch is done. So very simple, very easy, guys. It's a great way for you to now stream from your Legends Ultimate arcade cabinet. I'm super excited about this feature as a live broadcaster, as a streamer, as a guy that you guys see streaming all the time. This is really cool if I just want to stream some gameplay without putting myself on camera. It's a great way to just, just stream the gameplay. Um, I'm sure down the road they're going to be working on ways that you can incorporate a microphone and a camera because I know what's, what's the way that you can incorporate your audience, right? I'm sure that's something that's in the works. So uh, again, I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you tune into our show every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern on Facebook, YouTube, and the techbuzz.net slash live. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate any kind of comments that you leave below here so that, um, you know, at games knows what you're thinking. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Really helps us out a lot here. Thanks again for all your support and we'll see you on the next video.